ladies, I have a breakdown for you for the big girly kicks. This is one of my favorite moves to do. I love using it as a warm up, as a strength move, and even in my routines. The big girly kicks uses everything pretty much if you get the full effect. So that's what I want to talk about today. We all know our body rolls, that chest, abs, hips that roll into the pole. When you get into big girly kicks, you're basically doing those body rolls horizontally or sideways on the pole. And there's an awful lot going into a big girly kick that gets you into um, using the legs, the hips, the abs, the arms, and everything. So again, that's why I love it as a warm up, I love it as a strength move, and I love it in my routines. So breaking that down for you so you get the whole effect. I'm gonna stand on that left leg. We'll, we'll try it on both sides. I like to hold um, both hands, thumbs up. You can certainly grip thumbs down if you prefer. I just prefer both thumbs up. But as you're standing, that standing foot, you're gonna just turn it out a little bit and you wanna be a nice distance from the pole here. You wanna to get totally horizontal so that from your toe to your hip to your head that you're in a pretty straight line there. As you come into the pole, you're gonna roll that chest off. So it's chest, abs, hips. You're dragging the knee into the pole and then that toe is gonna to kick up. Now everybody's a little different as far as how much movement they have through their hips and how far they can open that hip. So this will also help with your flexibility um, and your range of motion with it. So as you roll it, you're going chest, abs, hips, I bring that knee in. I'm opening that hip, aiming that knee towards the ceiling, and then I'm gonna to continue to hopefully rotate that open as I kick that toe up towards the ceiling, and you should feel that in your butt and hip as you roll through. So chest, abs, hips, knee and toe. Chest, abs, hips, knee and toe. I'm kicking that foot up towards the ceiling as I'm rolling my body off that pole chest, abs, hips. Now, it's also an illusion as you're doing this because you can look more flexible <laughs> than you might be. So I'm gonna let my weight fall away to those arms go long, and then as I kick up as if I'm trying to touch that toe to the pole. If I were just to stand here and try to do that, I can only get that foot so far. But by rotating that hip knee and toe towards the ceiling, and by leaning away from that pole, I can give that illusion of that greater straddle or flexibility. So you feel that in your hip and your butt, in that side waist, the standing leg as it's driving into the floor, and your arms as you're pushing and pulling your body away from that pole. So if we switch sides to balance out, so if I'm on the right leg, again, I like thumbs up. You can certainly go thumbs down if you prefer. Trying to get a straight line from your toe to your hip to your head. And we're gonna start with that body roll, that chest, abs, hips. I bend the knee, lean my body away as I kick up, as if I were trying to tap that pole with my toe. So chest, abs, hips. I'm opening that hip up, aiming that knee and toe towards the ceiling as I push and pull my body away. Again, I'm feeling it in the standing leg, I'm feeling it in that working leg, hip, butt, feeling it in the arms, side waist, all of that. Now, there's another piece you can add to this, which is gonna give you um, a little bit more uh, movement and makes it uh, seem like you're moving a little bit more than what you are. But the standing foot, you're now going to, instead of staying flat foot on that, as you're rolling through, you're gonna um, rise up on the toes as you pull that leg back. So, and that's gonna allow you to kind of pivot and turn on that foot as well. So again, you're getting that big wavy motion, that big girly kick. And we'll start here. Again, start with that chest, abs, hips aiming that knee and toe up towards the ceiling as you open that hip a little bit further each time. And you're gonna add that rise on that toe as you pull that top leg back. So as I pull the leg back, I rise up, pivot. 
rise up, pivot. So now I'm really starting to feel that in that standing leg as well. Big push and pull, opening those hips up, working every part of my body through that. Other side to balance out. So, horizontal, knee and toe, opening that hip, rolling that body off the pole. And as I pull that leg back, I'm rising up on that toe so that you get that big workout. And down. Good warm up for the whole body. All right, big girly kicks. 